Hi everyone, Dean Ellis here from Dartec. I uh, I'm just starting a new playlist now on uh, on some more detail in our Joomla content management system. And in this playlist, we're going to go through the finer details of articles. So the first thing we're going to look at we're going to look at is uh, we're going to go to Content and Article Manager. Okay, and this is the window where all the articles and all the business of articles happens. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the options button first over on the right hand side. Okay, now I've taken you through the uh, the article settings here as the global global settings. I won't go over that on this one. Um, if you if we need a, a bit more help on this one, I'll do this in a, in another in another tutorial. But what I want to go through on this is the editing layout. Uh, this uh, uh, these options here. So. What we have is a, is a number of buttons and options that we can use to set up, uh, and they affect certain tabs in the front end of the uh, the website and the uh, the administrator panel of the website. And the first one here is show publishing options. Now, what this does is this will um, show you when we look at the uh, the actual um, article. So I've opened up an article here on another tab. Uh, and it shows you a number of of uh, different tabs here. Okay, so what it's going to what it's going to uh, um, show and hide what this button shows and hide is the publishing tab just here. All right, and the publishing tab has your uh, start publishing date, your finish publishing date, uh, the metadata, etc., and uh, all the bits and pieces in here. So I'll just go back to the other tab here. Now, when we turn this one off. Okay, let's go back into the back end of this, of this article again. Uh, we'll go to the content, and then we'll just refresh. Notice now the publishing tab has disappeared. Okay, so that button turns that publishing tab off. So we'll, we, uh, my recommendation is to leave that set to uh, on. Okay, leave it set to on because you need to access the metadata and the meta keywords to improve your search engine optimization. So we'll leave that on. The, uh, the next one is the article options. Okay. If we look at the if we look at the uh, the content again, it's going to hide the options tab. What's in the options tab? This is all of the data around the article that we set in the global configuration in here. Okay. All those all that information. Okay. Now, if we go into the uh, the so we go into the uh, sorry editing layer and we turn this set this to no. Okay, refresh this side. Okay, notice the options tab has disappeared. Now, my recommendation is we should leave that set to no because there are three areas where those options appear. One is in this area here, your articles. This is your global settings here. Two is in the article itself. And through, thirdly, there's also another, the same list in the menu options and we go through menus. Now we found in our last uh, number of tutorials that the articles options don't actually work on anything. They don't, uh, um, I think they've out, I think Joomla have outsmarted themselves on that one and, uh, and it doesn't work. Um, I th it's a little bit redundant so the option to remove it from the articles uh, is probably a smart move and we just manage individual um, articles from the menu. So I'm going to leave that set to uh, off, so I set it to no. Okay, the next one is an interesting one because this is a, a save history. Joomla have put in what they looked like uh, a version control arrangement and allows you to save older copies of your article. It, if we set, leave that set to yes and go into our article here, you notice on the top menu there, there's a versions button. Okay, there it is there. And if we click on that versions button, it comes up with a number of versions that you've used, that you've saved in previous edits and you can actually click on one of them and restore that version um, or preview it even. Okay there it is there. So this is a very interesting uh, addition they've actually they've put into the core Joomla functionality and I thought it's, I think it's quite a good idea. Um, so that's basically your, your save history. I'm going to leave that set to on for now because I'm, uh, I'm taken with that. I, I like that idea uh, and I'll leave that set to yes. Now the maximum versions number is 10. Um, that will show a maximum list of 10 saves in here. And I'm going to assume that it's going to save the latest 10. And that's the number of versions. Okay, the next one is the front end images and links. 
Now you can edit your website articles from the front end. Now you log in, basically you have a login form, okay, if you um, set your login here and you log in using your, your standard username and password, okay, you, you actually say that you actually show that you logged in. And what you'll see on each article is a little edit link up here. And when you click on the edit link, okay, there you can see you can start editing uh, the article now. Okay, do whatever you like to do with it. And the going back into the settings here, the front end images and links, okay, that switches this section here on, the images and links section on. Okay, we've got it set to on there. If we go out here and turn it to off, okay, and we head back into our home page and refresh that, okay, notice the images and links have now disappeared. So you can't um, edit the images and links. Um, I'm going to leave that one set to on because I think that's a really good uh, feature. And the other one is the administrator images and links. If we go back to our administrator page, it'll get rid of the images and links tab located here. Okay, if we set that to off and go save, okay, refresh this this one. All right, notice now that the images and links tab has disappeared. Okay, I'm going to leave that set to on because the images and links uh, I've also found out it does some interesting things uh, with your with your intro text and and articles. So I'll save that. Okay, now the next three windows here relate to your images and links feature. Okay, and it's basically a target window. Now you've got four options here. You've got open the link in a parent window, open in a new window, open it in a pop-up, and open it in a modal pop-up. Choice is up to you how you want to do it. I tend not to use pop-ups. I don't like pop-ups. I'll either open it in a brand new window or I'll open it um, open a new window or, or I'll open it in the same window that the website's in. Right, it depends on where the link goes to. Now these relate to, if we go into our images and links tab from the article, okay, and we'll cover these, uh, we'll cover these, uh, uh, this page you know, later on in this playlist in another tutorial. Uh, these cover off on the, the links. There's your link A, link B, and link C. Okay, and again, using global, if you set it to use global, it'll revert back to these options here. Okay, or you can specifically set your individual links from the drop down on the images and links window. Okay, so that's what they relate to there. I'll cover more on what these uh, images and links do uh, in another tutorial. So, going back to it. All right, and finally on this uh, set is the intro image float and the full text image float uh, left or right or none. Now this relates to again the images and links okay and it relates to if we go back into this area the intro image all right is your is the uh, is the top one the intro image float relates to your intro image and your other one, your full image float, relates to your full article image over here. Okay, I'll explain more how all that works in a later tutorial. It's very interesting, um, and it's I think it's a feature that's uh, will be pretty useful when we start creating articles as a standard layout. Okay, so that's it for that particular editing layout tab. Okay, all pretty self-explanatory, uh, all pretty simple stuff. Um, feel free to uh, go backwards over this tutorial and, and uh, pick up more. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye for now.